A new Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer means new Pokemon, and we got six in total. While two were already covered in Koro Koro magazine, the others have never been seen before. And in addition, a brand new feature was revealed as well as some changes to the Pokemon Global Link. There's a lot to take in, but not really enough for a full analysis. Instead, let's learn what we can about these new features in Pokemon. First up is Wimpod, the Turntail Pokemon. It is a bug and water type with the new ability, Wimp Out, which allows it to run away or swap out for another Pokemon if its HP drops below half during battle. This could make it pretty tricky to catch, but also quite useful if Wimpod's on your team, allowing you to easily switch it out if it's in danger. As its name implies, Wimpod are cowardly by nature, always wary of noises and sudden movements. If a group of people approaches them, they'll immediately run away. And if they feel threatened, they'll spit out a poisonous liquid, which signals to others that danger is near. Despite this cowardice, Wimpod are incredibly curious as well, and will approach people or Pokemon that are keeping still. In addition, Wimpod eat and store anything that they find fallen on the ground, and will scavenge any garbage that's littering the sea, making them very useful as cleaners. But this can also lead them into trouble since they can sometimes carry pearls or other valuable items, causing them to be targets of some humans or Murkrow. Next is Boonsweet, the fruit Pokemon, who is a pure grass Pokemon. It can have either the ability Leaf Guard, which prevents status conditions in sunny weather, or Oblivious, which prevents the Pokemon from falling for taunts or attraction. Boon Sweet is a popular Pokemon in Alola due to the delicious smell it exudes from its body. This scent has a calming effect on humans, so it's often allowed to live inside homes and act as a kind of air freshener. However, this aroma isn't always a good thing as Boon Sweet can sometimes be swallowed whole by Pokemon drawn to its aroma. When it runs away from these Pokemon, Boon Sweet flees by skipping along the ground. Unfortunately, because these bouncy movements look so enjoyable, it doesn't really convey the danger of its situation, so nobody ever comes to its aid. But it can also drive off enemies by rotating the calyx on its head, though Boon Sweet will get really dizzy afterward. For as adorable as it is, Boon Sweet certainly has a rough life. Then we have Comfey, the posy picker Pokemon and a pure fairy type. Its abilities are Flower Veil, which prevents Grass-type allies from having their stats lowered, and Triage, a brand new ability which ensures that the Pokemon's restorative moves always goes first during battle. Comfey likes to pick flowers and will always carry them around in a ring of blossoms. It then spreads oil from its body onto the flowers so that they will emit a soothing scent that affects both itself and its allies. If Comfey is fond of someone, it will then give the flower rings to that person. In addition, Comfey is often seen helping with the treatment of people and Pokemon at Pokemon centers and hospitals thanks to its fragrance. It can also use its flowers in battle, throwing them at enemies to create an opening before fleeing or attacking. And as an aside, during the Japanese trailer for these new Pokemon, we see Comfey face off against Sylveon. There's no sign of a trainer anywhere, so could it be possible that Eevee evolutions can be found in the wild? Continuing on, there's Mudsdale, a pure ground type known as the Draft Horse Pokemon. It can have the ability Own Tempo, which prevents confusion, or the new ability Stamina, which allows its defense to go up by one when hit by an attack. Mudsdale is well known in Alola for its powerful body, and interestingly, its emotional fortitude. It never gets irritated by anything, and no matter what kind of trouble it's in, it will never cry out. Mudsdale is capable of defeating opponents with a single powerful blow thanks to the protective mud coating around its legs. Not only does this protect it, but the weight increases the force of Mudsdale's kicks to the point where it could turn a car into a pile of scrap with just one kick. However, it's not a fast Pokemon, instead relying on its power and excellent stamina. This allows Mudsdale to drag loads of over 10 tons for three days and nights without stopping. The description makes it obvious that Mudsdale will be a very slow Pokemon, but have high attack and HP stats. In addition, when Mudsdale does gallop, the power of each Hoofclop can dig out huge holes, even on asphalt roads, which has led to it being forbidden to run on some of Alola's routes. Finally, we see Mudsdale use a brand new ground type attack called High Horse Power, though we don't know if it has any additional effects. Next is Mimikyu, who we saw before in Koro Koro Magazine. The Pokemon website confirms that it is known as the Disguise Pokemon with a dual Ghost and Fairy typing. It has the new ability Disguise, which allows it to escape damage from an enemy's attack one time before its appearance changes. 
We can see in the trailer how its Pikachu cloth slumps over, showing the attacker where Mimic Yu's real body is. This ability is also why it has a Pikachu-like appearance. In order to resemble the popular Pokémon, it makes patterns that look like eyes and a mouth appear on a normal cloth scrap. So why Pikachu? Well, the rising popularity of Pikachu merchandise 20 years ago made Mimic U realize how loved it was. Because it's so lonely, Mimic U thought it might be able to make friends with humans if it looked like Pikachu. After all, Mimic U lives its entire life covered by that cloth and always stays hidden. A belief has taken hold in Alola that anyone who sees its true form beneath the cloth will be stricken with an unknown illness. Mimic Yu's health also drains when it's in the sunlight, so it prefers to stick to dark places. The cloth was originally meant to help it avoid sunlight before getting the dual purpose of helping to mimic Pikachu. Interestingly, while we can't exactly identify where the other Pokémon are battling, we can with Mimic Yu. In the English trailer, it's possible to see a graveyard behind it. And by looking at the Alola map, we can see precisely where you'll be able to catch one, right here on the northeastern island. But the Japanese trailer shows Mimic Yu in some kind of abandoned building. Based on the shelves surrounding it, which has abandoned bags of chips, and a promotion on the wall, we believe that this is a decrepit convenience store. We can't really say which house that might be based on the map, but perhaps it's one of the buildings in the town near the graveyard. The final new Pokémon, Beware, was also initially revealed in Koro Koro Magazine. It is a dual normal and fighting type Pokémon, and could have the ability Klutz, which prevents it from using any held items, or the new ability Fluffy, which halves damage from direct contact attacks, but has the side effect of taking double damage from fire type moves. Beware's spine is so sturdy that it can lift objects weighing more than a ton, and its hugs can split anything in two. Even when it's acting friendly, just swinging its arms around, trainers should be careful approaching it because of its sheer power. This has led it to be recognized as a dangerous Pokémon, and warning signs have been posted near places it resides. Trainers should be careful as well. When Beware grows fond of its trainer, it will give him or her a hug. But the force of the hug could be dangerous, so it's advised that it be shown how to restrain itself when displaying affection. Besides its dangerous nature, Wild Beware have been seen using incredible martial arts moves thanks to their observation of black belts training their bodies in the woods. In addition to the new Pokémon, a new feature was revealed as well. Hyper Training. The Pokémon website describes it as trainers being able to draw out a Pokémon's power to its utmost limit. Before, each Pokémon grew stronger by leveling up and increasing their base stats, though their potential was still affected by the individual strengths innate to that Pokémon. It's the hidden IV stat that's commonly used in competitive play, except Hyper Training brings it to the forefront. Once a Pokémon has reached the maximum level of 100, trainers will be able to increase their individual strengths for the first time. This is done by visiting a shop owned by a man named Mr. Hyper. He loves to collect bottle caps, so much so that if you bring them to him, he'll allow you access to Hyper Training. The bottle caps can be found all over Alola, and even Magirna is holding one for when it's eventually distributed. Even better, the bottle cap can be used to train any Pokémon, though it's been discovered by Serebii.net on the Japanese website that Magirna's bottle cap is specifically described as silver, so it's possible that different bottle caps can have different effects, or perhaps even uses. The trailer shows a level 100 Pikachu, and while the menu is mostly the same as before, there's a new symbol beneath it. What could this mean for the Pikachu? Is it an indicator that it can be hyper-trained, or is there something else possible? In any case, we then see its max stats raised through this new method. Its HP increases by 26, attack by 21, defense by 24, speed by 22, special defense by 19, and special attack by 15. Those are impressive increases, making hyper-training a major new tool for competitive battlers. Finally, the Sun and Moon website revealed that the Pokémon Global Link website will be ending its service for Pokémon X, Y, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire in order to prepare for Sun and Moon. Not only that, but new functions will be added to the update, including being able to host your own friendly competitions as either online or live competitions. Official competitions will still be around, but the friendly competitions offer a way for players to set their own rules and play. Internet competitions can be open to players from all over the world, or set to only allow pre-approved trainers to enter. It's possible for Pokémon ranking to be calculated while doing this too, just like official competitions, depending on whether the number of participants exceeds the pre-chosen amount. 
Live competitions are with your local friends. Once the regulations are chosen, a QR code will be created. The other players simply have to scan the code and then they'll be able to battle together. The settings that can be changed include the name and description of the competition, the rule set, whether it's limited to the Alola Pokedex or National Dex, restrictions such as whether it's only Sun and Moon Pokemon or if Pokemon transferred via the bank can be used, the length of the competition, the time limit of the battles themselves, how many battles can be had per day, and whether it's public or private. So it's possible that we can host a Game Explain online competition. Before we finish this look at the new information, we want to return to the Every Day is an Adventure trailer. During the sequence where the trainer is riding a Tauros, there's a green glint near a tree on the right side. We noticed this initially but couldn't decide whether it was simply a falling leaf or a Zygarde cell. We proposed the idea of finding and collecting the cells before, so this would fall in line with that theory. However, the cells are normally supposed to be cloaked in order to hide in plain sight. We still don't know which it is, but the glint stands out too much for it to be nothing. Pokemon Sun and Moon's lineup of new Pokemon continue to mostly impress. We've been enjoying all of the new designs, while the new features look to change the game in both overt and subtle ways. And yet, there's still so much about Alola that we don't know. Fortunately, more information is on the way next month when the new issue of Koro Koro Magazine is released, promising details on the next Alola Island. But until then, if you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to keep up with everything we do. Thanks for watching and make sure to stay tuned to Game Explained for more on Pokemon and other things gaming.